Hello, hello. All right, so this is my third uh, live streaming video of the morning. It is only 10.37, so I'm doing pretty good. All right, so I was on earlier and I told you about the webinars that we're doing every day this week at noon. Uh, you can sign up for those at wittynicely.com. This little pop-up will come up and say, do you want to know about our webinars? And you say, yes, here's my email address. Please let me know everything you have going on, Whitney. Yay! Um, so if you want to check those out, you're more than welcome to. Then I was on the Persuasion Nation Mastermind Group on Facebook this morning talking about why you should have a real estate portfolio, why it's so important for every entrepreneur to have a real estate portfolio. And I've got four reasons for that. We'll cover those later today. But I do a real estate daily topic of the day, and today is agreements or contracts. And depending on which part of the world you are, depending on if you're working with buyers or sellers, depending on if you're working on more educated or less educated, sometimes you say agreement and sometimes you say contract. But since you are the professional, it is a contract. Even if you say it's an agreement, it's a written agreement, it is a contract. Okay? So, like yesterday, no, Saturday, I was at my mom's lake house and I got a call from a seller who wanted to get rid of some apartments in Knoxville. I've been working with the seller for a couple months. She was ready to get the paperwork signed. Boom, got it. Now I have an agreement that I can sell or buy or assign or do whatever I want to with these nine apartment units in Knoxville. But I can't do anything until I have a piece of paper signed from the seller, right? Don't advertise it. Don't let anybody go look in it. Don't even pretend you know about it until you have some paperwork and an a agreement or a contract signed with the seller that says that you have the ability to do whatever you need to to move it on behalf of the seller. And that's if you're being a listing agent or if you're doing an assignment, if you're wanting to buy it, whatever you're wanting to do, you need to have some paperwork that says that you are the person in charge of the situation. So, if you don't have an assignment, I mean, if you don't have an agreement or you don't have a contract, you don't have a deal. I don't care what you agreed to in person. I don't care what you shook hands on. You need some paperwork to back it up. Back, back, back it up. Right? Back, back, back it up. Get the paperwork. Get the agreement signed. Get the contract signed. And, uh, no. Sorry, you were gone. <laughs> so agreements and contracts are very important. I don't care if it's the listing agreement that you're going after. I don't care if it's the uh, wholesale agreement, the wholesale contract, whatever you want to call it, get that paperwork signed before you put it out on the market. My name is Whitney Nicely. I'm the broker for Whitney Buys Houses and I'm a real estate auctioneer. I have a radio show on Saturday mornings, all real estate, all the time. Um, if you come up with any memorandums that you need to add to it, you need those signed, absolutely. Um, but before you worry about too terribly much, before you get the personal interest and disclosure signed, if you are an agent, you need to have something to put it with. You need the meat for your dinner, which is the agreement or the contract that says that you can buy the property at 123 Main Street for $15,000 and you have 30 days to get it closed. Um, if you're doing a lease option, then you need to say that you're going to rent it for $500 a month until you pay it off. Just whatever it is that you're working with, it needs to be in paperwork. Whatever you agree to verbally isn't really agreed to until both parties sign a piece of paper that they agree to it get some ink pens, <laughs> okay? Figure out how to upload this stuff online so that everybody can sign virtually if you want to be really techie. But if you're working out in the country like I am, you need some signatures, you need some paper, you need some pens. Get that stuff signed. Keep copies of it. Leave a copy with the seller, leave a copy with the buyer. Just get it all signed, get it all legal, get it all done. Um, if you have more questions about real estate, you can go to WhitneyNicely.com. If you've enjoyed this, hit the little Periscope dude and share this. And I will be back later. I'm doing a webinar today on how you should name your company. Should you get an LLC? Should you have a corporation? How do you find out if somebody else already has that name? What if somebody has trademarked that in the country? 
Um, my, one of my favorite real estate people is the Broke Agent. He's in California. He has trademarked the fire out of the Broke Agent. So don't advertise anything as the Broke Agent. I don't know why you'd want to. He's made his whole brand the Broke Agent. But it's very important that when you are naming your baby, when you are naming your company, you want to make sure that you're not going to be stepping on somebody else's toes. Because, you know, Whitney Buys Houses is me. This is all me. Okay, I'm all real estate all the time. But... Through some research, I found out that there was two other Whitney's, one in North Carolina and one in uh, Georgia, that they have Whitney Sales houses, Whitney Sales homes. So I can't get those, but I am running the market on Whitney Buys Houses. Those other two Whitney's don't buy houses. I buy houses. So guess who has the trademark on Whitney Buys Houses? Guess who has the domain names for Whitney Buys Homes, Whitney Buys House, Whitney, Whitney Buys Houses, you know, all these different ways because when you start explaining to people what your website is, what your name is, what your brand is, you want to make sure that you can cover as much as you need to, okay? And in my neck of the woods, people are rednecks, so I have to be able to spell it a couple different ways. I have to make it short and easy and sweet. I have to make it so that an elderly person understands it and a third grader understands it. So there's a whole science behind how to name your company. So if you want to know more, I'm doing the webinar today at noon. It's 12 bucks, or you can buy all five webinars that we're doing this week for $27. So even if you like two of my topics, it's worth it you know, for $3 extra to get the other three. Maybe you'll learn something that you hadn't planned on. But go to WhitneyNicely.com. We're sending out the information now. If you missed today's topic and you want to go ahead and get all five, then you can do that. I'll just send you the replays. So um, also the replays will be sent to you. They're good for life. If you are in the Busy Mom's Guide to Real Estate Investing, um, which is $3.97 through the end of the month, then you get every webinar that I do for free. I just post them up there um, under the bonus webinars. So you start with uh, the intro to owner financing, what you need to get your phone to ring, how you talk to sellers about owner financing, what's the difference between lease options and owner financing. All of that, plus about six other webinars, is in the Busy Mom's Guide to Real Estate. But also, all the webinars that I do from now until the end of the year will be, or probably forever, will be in the Busy Mom's Guide to Real Estate. And we have some dads in there, too. I was marketing to moms, but we have some dads in there. And if you want that, you can check it out. It's on my website. It is $3.97 to get in for a lifetime membership through the end of May. Uh, in June, it goes to $8.97 because it is packed with information that you can watch at your own time, on your own speed. You can pause it. You can take notes. You can send me messages in there. Totally cool. Totally down with all of it. And uh, you get instant access. You don't get the live webinars, but you do get them for free on the replay. And you can stop, you can pause, you can fast forward, you can do whatever you want to once they're in the uh, Busy Mom's Guide to Real Estate. So if you're like me and you can't stand that introduction and that whole fluff thing in the beginning that we all do in webinars, then the Busy Mom's Guide to Real Estate is totally for you. It's on my website. You can sign up today. It is $3.97, but that's a lifetime to every webinar I do. So if I do one webinar a week for the rest of the year and they're $12 a pop, if you bought one, how much would you spend? Like 500 bucks just on webinars? And this includes the intro to owner financing? It's a no-brainer. But also, you know, the uh, five webinars that I'm doing this week for 27 bucks, that's a no-brainer. Just two webinars is $24. So for $3 more, you get three more webinars. That's like three more hours with me for three, to, three bucks. <laughs> all real estate, all the time. Um, you can go to WhitneyNicely.com to sign up for our webinar link uh, or to sign up to get the emails for it. You can just sign up for individual um, individual webinars. There's a tab, I think it's under free stuff on WhitneyNicely.com. You can just sign up for the individuals or you can email me info at WhitneyNicely.com and I will send you the link to get all five for 27 bucks. So let me know uh, what you need, what you got, and let's talk some real estate. I love real estate. I'll see y'all later, WhitneyNicely.com. Oh, I am Whitney Nicely and I'm the broker for Whitney Buys Houses. I'm a real estate auctioneer for Nicely Done Auctions and I'm a real estate investor first and foremost. My brother and I have 15 houses in two different counties. My husband and I have 19 apartment units and I buy and sell so many random pieces of land that I think I have six or seven right now. Um, but like I say, I'm buying and selling. So who knows what I got? The accountant keeps up with it better than I do. I've got some real estate though. 
So y'all let me know if you need anything else. Info at WhitneyNicely.com. That's Whitney like Houston, nicely like nicely done auctions. And I got a contract for some apartments this week, this weekend. So that's exciting. So y'all go get those agreements, go get those contracts, and I will see you on the fun side of real estate investing. Bye everybody. Have a great day.